So Cogshill Farm Museum has been a nonprofit organization since 1973 when a group of people in this community came together to save this historic farmhouse that was built in the mid 1700s and over the course of the last 40 years uh, individuals and groups have come together to make this a really vibrant living history museum. We are representing the lives of everyday tenant farmers who would have been living on these beautiful shores of Narragansett Bay and farming this fertile ground. They were renting this land but they didn't pay their rent necessarily with hard currency the way we do today. They might have been paying it with cheese or with onions or with milk and the, the product that this beautiful farm was able to deliver. Hawkshell Farm Museum is part of uh, a larger movement to preserve heritage breed animals. These are animals that might otherwise be going out of our ecosystem if people weren't consciously preserving them. So I'm talking about animals like the American milking Devon cow. In the 1970s there were as few as a hundred of these left on the planet. Right now there are about 1,200 and here at Cogshell Farm we have four of them. We're very proud of that. This is a type of cow that that is very close to what you might have seen on a farm like this in the 18th century. Likewise, we have Gulf Coast native sheep, another heritage breed. We have Narragansett turkeys, and we have dunghill chickens, which is a variety of different types of chickens that are blended together. And in the 18th century, they called them dunghill chickens because that's essentially where they like to hang out, on top of the dunghill. We also have an heirloom garden here at Cogshall. And in that garden, we grow a variety of plants that you might have seen in the 16, 17, or 1800s. We also do seed saving here. So we're growing crops from the seeds that we have saved the season before. One of the things that makes Cogshell a little bit different than many historic sites is that we focus on the lives of everyday, hardworking people, the kind of people who really built this country from the ground up. And it's very easy in history books or when you visit special historic sites to find out about the rich and the powerful, the wealthy, the influential. It's much more difficult to dig into the lives of working people and that's what we do here. We really honor and celebrate the families who were perhaps voiceless in the history books but through our living history we not only honor their lives, but we relive their lives a little bit and learn to walk in their shoes and to do tasks the way they would have done and to bring the public into that experience.